Okay. Tonight's lecture is wood pigeons. Let's get that away. So last night, my mate texted me and said, do you want a bag full of pheasants? I said, yeah, go on then, that'll be nice. So he turned up with a bloody great bag full of wood pigeons. I think he's getting confused. But then again, he's the same age as I am, so we're all getting confused. Let's just get, get, get the old battery out of the way. So, tonight I'm going to demonstrate how a bloke takes the breath out of a pheasant who doesn't know what he's doing. Just play some crap off here. I'm using this is the this is the main reason for my doing of this video. I'm using my favourite knife, which is French, French manufacture. And I do like the French. They're just they're so matter of fact and and sort of rural in their outlook. This steel on this little knife, there's no spring on the knife. It's just, it's just a, a very basic knife. Having said that, it cost plenty of money in the high street in England. <clears throat> but it's black steel. And I've always said, and I've been messing about with knife, knives for years, that the best edge can always be found on, a, um, on steel that, that isn't stainless, steel that rusts. And this is, this is typical of, of the type the, of steel that I mean. It's... it's marked with Opinel uh, and it just gets such a great edge on it so I'm just going to give it a little tickle with my steel from Tommy Taylor's <gasps> and then we'll get one of these out now I don't like I don't like killing God's beautiful creatures, but wood pigeons are a slight exception because they're flipping nuisance this year. Today is September the twenty third, I think, two thousand and twenty, and my garden is full of these little baggers. Uh, they're a nuisance. They shit all down the house. There are too many of them these uh, these days. So um, I'm not. I don't feel too guilty. So right, uh, I'll need to put the camera above the bench, but the carriage has disappeared. So let's go and find it. Where is it? It's up there, I think. There it is. <coughs> hmm. Is that how it goes? So, as I said, this is this is a uh, demonstration of how a bloke takes the breast out of a chicken who doesn't really know what he's doing. And that's me. I spent all my formative years hacking fish to pieces so I can fillet a fish and gut one and do all sorts of things like that but I'm not very good even though I consider myself a country boy I'm not very good at poultry and game and stuff like that but I'm enthusiastic and that's all that matters so what you do is you whip you whip the hell they're coming off easily do you know one reason I don't 
pluck a whole pheasants is because it takes so much effort. Look at but because the feathers don't want to come out, but look at those are coming out of treat. Dead easy. So you just get the feathers out of the way. In fact, I think I think probably the expert would say you don't even need to do that. So just take a slice into the skin. Get the skin off. Or <coughs> maybe maybe do that. Maybe that's the way. Yeah, I reckon that's the way. Take a bit of a slice to get the skin off. Peel it down like his like his waistcoat. And there it is, all that lovely breast. And I feel a bit guilty because if you're going to kill something, then you ought to be eating as much of it as you can. And there's a lot of meat that's going to go to waste if I just take the breast off and throw the rest away. Uh, but on this occasion, I'm just eating the breast because it's easy. So I think what you do is... <laughs> Bloody hell, you don't get this with fish. Cut, cut right down next to that breastbone and follow it down cut as close to any bone that you can find as you can in order to get as much meat off as you can there's another bone down there that I'm following with the blade now if you're clumsy you'll get a poor yield but I reckon if you're clever and if you follow the, the bone really closely you can get a great amount of meat off the breast much more than someone who's kind of a bit clumsy about it. In fact I can probably go all the way up there look. Get a bit of that marbling on. Look at that. Just look at that. That is a very nice little serving of meat there. <coughs> right, what shall I put that on? Very nice morsel, which is, where's my ruler? God dear, there it is. <coughs> You've got 100 mil of, uh, of solid gamey meat there. Look at that. Okay, next side. Learning as we go though, have we missed much? There's a bit of meat up there, for God's sake, there's bloody feathers everywhere! <coughs> so being right handed, the left hand side one's not going to be as easy. God, Benny, feathers! Right down next to that breastbone. And scrape as you go down. I 
Oh look, I missed a piece there, look. Damn. That's still attached to some skin, actually. number two. So there we have a couple of very nice chicken breasts. And if you're squeamish you don't, uh, doing it this way is great because you don't have to dig into the uh, giblets and pull the, pull the belly out and what have you. You just, you know, there you have it. There you've got your <coughs> most of your edible meat. If you were to pluck the whole of the bird, there's not really a lot more meat on there apart from what you've just taken off the breast. So I think it's quite a good way of doing justice to a pigeon. But since I'm not really well versed in the uh, physiology of a pigeon. Let's just have a little look, see if we can find any more bits. Because, you know, if you were stuck in the middle of nowhere, you'd want every bit of meat off it. No, there's not much more. God, these feathers! Give me fish scales any day. So, hang on, what about legs? Tell you what, let's take the... Uh, Let's, let's see if we can do a pigeon leg. You know, as in chicken leg. Is there any meat on a bloody pigeon leg? God, look at those feathers coming off! I think the fact is, there's bloody feathers. There's bugger all meat on a pigeon leg, is there? But this little knife is fab. Okay. There's the pigeon leg. No. We'll try it though. I suppose. Chuck it in the frying pan, see what comes off it. We don't want his foot though, do we? Wire snips. So we go, pigeon leg. Well, the Chinese eat chicken feet with nothing on them, so let's just try a pigeon leg. Where's the other one? See if we can get a bit more meat attached to this one. <laughs> Good grief. Give me a dead fish any day. Look at it. Bloody feathers everywhere. Okay, so let's, let's see if we can see, see if we can get Feathers. Got a bit more something attached to to the next leg. Well, not 
too unhappy about that. I've got some scissors. Pardon me. What we got? So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Making a meal out of a dead pigeon. And I do believe there's not really much left on the pigeon. So I don't feel too guilty. Will you look at that? The wife's gonna Love me when I go in with that. Not. <laughs> okay. Here are the others, look. Flipping bag full of them. So they're going to have to be done, really, because they're going to go to waste. And I really don't want to waste them. Never kill something unless you're going to eat it. Unless it's your neighbour's annoying yapping dog. Alright, that's it. Good evening. <laughs>